Hi, I'm Corey Weatherton, Director of Product Development for Integra Coach, and I'm excited to show you today this new 2023 Integra Expanse. Now, this Expanse is brand new for us, uh, new in the marketplace, so there's a good chance you haven't seen it. So I'm gonna take some time this morning, um, this morning for me, it could be afternoon for you, to show you some of the features of this Integra Coach Expanse. Now, first of all, this is built on an incredible chassis. This is the Ford Transit, 350 HD chassis and we also added a heavy duty trailer towing package to this so your uh, gross vehicle weight rating on this is 11,000 pounds your gross combined weight rating is 13,000 pounds now so that gives you 2,000 pounds of towing capacity now granted that's not a lot but on a coach this size I would question if you want to tow more than that so 11,000 GVW 13,000 GCW. Cool thing about this chassis is it has a lot of safety features on it. So you're gonna have adaptive cruise, you're gonna have um, side wind stability assist on that, you're gonna have a rear parking assist, you're gonna have side sensors on it. Uh, so this is absolutely loaded with safety features for you. Also on this chassis, a great feature that I think oftentimes gets overlooked is it is all wheel drive. So what does that mean for you? It means that if you're driving in inclement weather, you could be in the Rocky Mountains, uh, you could be uh, in the beach in Florida. Well, if you're starting to lose traction, uh, this chassis is a smart chassis, all wheel drive. It's gonna sense that and all of a sudden it's gonna start uh, turning other tires to give you that traction that you need. So all wheel drive, it's a great feature and oftentimes folks think they don't need it. They may go, go buy one of our ProMaster chassis that we built on, the, the Integra Ethos, uh, but at times you just really need that all wheel drive. So this chassis has that. Uh, now this coach is, uh, now let's talk about the features of the coach. This is our standard Expanse. So this is gonna have a 2800 watt generator on it. We also offer the Expanse LI. The Expanse LI is gonna be a complete lithium system, a massive uh, 10,000 watt hour battery bank, just a massive amount of storage for energy in that battery. But we'll focus specifically on the Expanse. If you wanna know more about the Expanse LI, we should have a video forthcoming on that or even check out our website for more information. So standard Expanse, um, some of the things we're doing on this, we do have a uh, motion sensing carefree awning on this. Great thing about that is that if the wind kicks up, uh, that will sense that and it will bring your awning in. But we do want to caution you, if you do go away from your campsite during the day, it's just always a smart move to go ahead and put that in uh, because if you get a strong uh, gust after a gust, uh, there is a chance your awning could come off. That's true for any motion sensing awning, but great feature to have. It does have your LED lighting on it, as you can see. Um, on this coach, we do have a lot of ventilation. It's, it's a smaller chassis. Oftentimes in those confined spaces, uh, they can heat up pretty quickly. Uh, so we've given you a sliding window here on this sliding door for ventilation. Um, and then also as we go back to coach, you're gonna see integrated uh, custom fiberglass running boards that do have lighting on them. So uh, at night when you get out of your campsite, you are able to just go ahead and see very clearly. There's no tripping, no falling. Um, going back further on the coach, you are gonna see uh, that we have a sliding window here and a sliding window here. So a lot of ventilation. Now, uh, this is one of our prototypes. So as I speak through this, there may be some features on this that won't be on your coach. So I just wanna point that out. Um, but on this coach, we do have three side sliding windows for just a lot of ventilation. Coming back further, we have the exterior speakers, the Furion um, marine grade speakers. Great thing about that is they are at head level. You can be sitting out at your campsite at night. You can have some tunes on and just enjoy uh, the, the evening and the atmosphere with that. Um, coming back, we do have uh, two outlets back here, 120 volt outlets. Uh, we want you to have all the power you need. Oftentimes on your campsite, uh, you could be setting up a blender, you could be setting up anything that's gonna need power, charging your phone. Uh, we wanna give you that just so that you have the power you need as you're focusing on just enjoying your camping trip. Uh, going back further around the back of the coach, um, the rear of the coach is gonna just pretty much be your standard uh, transit chassis. We do have a hitch on there with a seven pin uh, connector and also a four pin as well. So that way as you are towing, if you are towing, you're able to have um, power braking if, if you need it on your tow vehicle. On this side of the coach, as we come back uh, to the rear, I want to point out a few things. Now this is kind of our convenience area. Uh, it's on the driver's side of the coach, it's on the rear, it's out of the way. Uh, we put everything back here just for easy access for you. So we have our city water connection, 
Uh, we do have the cord for uh, the plug for our 30 amp cord. Uh, coming back, we have the cable TV satellite input, another 100, 110, 120 volt outlet. And then on the side of the coach, we do have um, a solar connect if you choose to have auxiliary solar. So this coach comes standard with 190 watt solar panels. It has a dual controller, so it's gonna keep your chassis charged as well as your two 12 volt house batteries charged. So it's smart, it's gonna sense if your chassis is full, it's gonna in a sense shut that current off and send it all to your coach. So um, if you want more than 190 watts, you can have auxiliary uh, like a suitcase briefcase type solar back here. Another feature that we added, oftentimes you'll be pulling into a campsite if, if you're in a traditional campgrounds in the dark. And so we have given you a side light over here um, an LED light just to light up this area. You're not tripping, you're not fumbling around. Uh, so a nice little feature, convenience, yes. Is it needed? No, but at the same time, uh, we wanna give you everything you need to enjoy your camping trips. Now, as we open up the rear of the coach, you will see um, some more of our uh, standard features that you're gonna get really on any motorhome. So we have our Nautilus system back here. This is gonna be how um, you direct your, uh, your water. If, if I want city fixture, if I wanna actually fill my tank, if I want to sanitize the coach. So that's back here. And then also um, on this area, we do have an outdoor shower. So um, you can use that if you want to spray off your feet after going to the beach or, or the dog's been playing in the mud, go ahead and spray it off. No need to get that mess inside. Now aftermarket, they do sell accessories that you could put a rod across the back with a curtain to give you a little bit more privacy if you do choose to use this as a real shower. Um, some folks do that totally fine. Uh, so that's back here. Uh, the neat thing is you can do your city fill here if you choose on this Nautilus system, but we found that some manufacturers, they rely on this and this alone. So that's why we did the city fill on the side of the coach. There's no need to have your rear doors open when you're uh, just connected to a campsite. So I uh, wanted that convenience factor for you. Uh, we do have a rear screen. Um, it is a bug screen, but then also a total blackout screen. Um, you've plenty of ventilation in this coach. I can't overemphasize that. Uh, let's go on the inside and take a look at the interior features. So we're inside the beautiful 21B 2023 Integra Coach Expanse. And I just want to show you just the beautifully appointed interior of this. All of the seats uh, we have recovered with an ultra leather. So they are super soft, super plush, very, very nice on the skin, a great feel to it. Um, one of the things that we wanted to do in such a small space is have as much usable space as possible. And recognizing that a lot of folks in this day and age, they're doing a lot of work from the road. Um, some folks are even full-timing in a coach this size. And so um, in this floor plan, we wanted to, as I said, give you usable space. So we gave you a little work table back here. So if you're on the road, you can easily put your laptop here. Underneath, we do have USB ports as well as uh, outlets, uh, great workstation for you. Little cubby here that you can put uh, file folders in, you can put your phone in. And so everything that our we imagined you to need, I believe that we've provided for you. Um, so we can put that up easily, it latches in place. This seat will spin around and I can go into driving position. Now in this coach as well, as I said, this is a fully loaded Ford Transit, the 350 HD. Um, we do have a 12 inch infotainment screen. Uh, it does have navigation in it. This is one of the most comfortable chassis we build upon. Now, every chassis has their advantages. Um, some of them are shorter, some of them are longer, uh, some of them are taller, some are shorter. This one here for, for an individual my height, about six foot two, as I spin around, I have a lot of leg room. This, this is a, a dream coach to drive. And so the cab up front, as I said, a lot of convenience features that Ford has given us. And so we're excited for you to hop in one of these at some point and take it for a test drive. Now, I wanna to move towards the back of the coach because that's really where the main action is. So as we're in the back of the coach, one of the things I wanna highlight is that we really view this Integra Coach Expanse as a luxury touring coach. And so we really wanted to spare no expense. So you're gonna see within our cabinetry that that's the first place that your eyes will go to. Absolutely beautiful. We do have high gloss hardwood cabinetry, doors and drawers in this. Your lowers in your kitchen will be that. Your bath door will be that. Absolutely beautiful. Overhead, uh, we have partnered with uh, Technoform, a company in Italy. They do a lot of projects for us. Uh, why do we use Italian uh, cabinets? 
uh, simply because in all honesty, the fit and finish is absolutely incredible. So um, it's simple latch in the middle. A lot of folks don't know how to get these open. There's a latch in the middle, um, three hinges up above. Those are spring loaded and they absolutely hold the doors open. No worry about them falling down. But then the cool thing is, is with those latches, I know some manufacturers won't give you those is that if you do take a corner pretty hard and you have some heavy things in there, your door's not gonna flop open and spill everything out onto the floor. Um, so these overhead cabinets, Technoform, our hardwood doors, our team did an incredible job designing this and developing it, and it's absolutely beautiful. Here in the kitchen, we've given you all of your needs and even some of your wants. We've given you a, a single burner induction cooktop. Now, as I said, this is our, our generator model, our regular expanse. This has a thousand watt inverter on it. If you bump up to the Expanse LI, you do get a 3,500 watt inverter to go with that massive battery bank. So single burner induction cooktop, great thing about these, they're very safe. Um, unlike propane where you have an open flame, uh, these are cool to the touch. Junior can be walking by, touch his hand on it and he won't get burnt. It does take special pans, um, induction cooktop pans in order to get that heat to generate there, but super quick in heating things up. Uh, so that induction cooktop there again, it's small and it gives you a lot of counter space. We do have um, a pop-up outlet and then USB port there uh, for charging purposes. And then also your single basin sink, uh, enough room for you to get a, a couple bowls in there maybe a medium sized pan in order to fill it up or even to just do your dishes in. A lot of drawers, uh, you're gonna see that these drawers, uh, they are on full slides, metal slides with uh, steel bar, bar bearings. We have two drawers, uh, two doors down below. Down below your induction cooktop is your whole house water filtration system. Uh, easy access to get that filter on and off. And then we have our induction microwave down below or convection microwave, I should say down below. Great thing about a convection microwave is it heats evenly all around. If you've ever used a, a traditional RV stove, that heating element is so close to your food, you oftentimes get a black line along the bottom of it simply because it's, it's just too close. Induction or convection microwaves are great because they evenly heat and they do it very efficiently. Now, you're gonna be impressed with the size of this fridge. Uh, this is not a small class B fridge. Um, this is very large for a unit this size. And so you have enough uh, shelf space, enough do door space, put all your vegetables in, put your meat in. Um, we have a, a freezer up above. Uh, there again, that's enough for probably three gallons of ice cream. If you're into ice cream, if not steaks, you probably got 20 steaks in there. So plenty of room within this refrigerator. Overhead, we have a 13,500 BTU air conditioner. A uh, great thing about this is um, it chills very quickly. It is a direct dump into your main living areas. Um, I can open and close sides if I choose to, um, and then also redirect uh, to get more in the front or more in the rear of the coach. Um, when we do move to the Expanse LI, you are getting a 48 volt air conditioner. This um, is just your standard 13.5. Um, we do have a small wardrobe area for you. We recognize that you're not gonna be taking months and months of clothes in this. This is probably a week, a couple weeks at most. Um, so trying to maximize as much space as possible, we've given you the wardrobe area. As we come into the back of the coach, uh, it's a very comfortable seating area. There again, we've used ultra leather all the way around. We have a drawer underneath this seating area here and uh, trying to maximize as much space as possible, latches in place. Uh, we have a lagoon table mount. It does swing and articulate in any direction. Uh, so you have seating here, you have seating back here. We do give you two seat belts back here. So this is able to safely uh, haul four people, seat belted in. Uh, there is room for more people, but seat belts, there's four in here. Um, as, as we look, we do have a, a TV on an articulating arm back here. Uh, it is a insignia and so you're going to have a great great viewing angle back here as you're sitting in your sofa area um, as i mentioned we have we have vented windows on both sides vented windows if there's no screens what's the point nobody wants this full of mosquitoes at night uh, so the cool thing about our our uh, screen process is the bottom is is a sliding screen um, your traditional bug screen if you will and then also a day shade and if i pull down from the top i've got a total blackout shade so uh, great feature to have in this coach. Um, this rear, it is a sofa, but cool thing about small spaces is folks get innovative. And so uh, this actually turns into a bed. How does it turn into a bed? It's not your traditional jackknife where you have to manually do it. Up above overhead, I simply just push a button and it goes down into sleeping position. So it will go totally flat. 
And then there is a filler board for in between these two jump seats. And so uh, these cushions come out, fill in the center, and then you have a massive sleeping area in the rear here. So honestly, a coach this size, uh, 22 feet bumper to bumper, it's very spacious. There's a lot of storage in it. A lot of complaints that uh, our development team has heard just in B-Vans is, where do I store stuff? And so you've got a lot of overhead storage in this, enough for clothes, enough for pots and pans, enough for games, enough for toys, enough for absolutely anything. And then in your kitchen area, they're getting underneath your, your, your sink base, just plenty of room for storage. And then as you'll see, the bathroom is quite large for a coach this size as well. Uh, it is a wet bath. It's totally enclosed. Uh, there is a shower curtain that's magnetic on the inside to make sure that we're not getting water out into the main area of the coach. This whole coach is controlled by the Firefly Multiplex system. The Firefly Multiplex system is a touch screen. It's very intuitive. There's an app that I can download to my phone. And as I download it to my phone, I can control the inside of the house from outside of the coach if I so choose. Also, we do have remote switches uh, for your awnings, for lights back here in, um, in your sleeping area. So when you are in bed, if you wanna turn on your your awning light, that LED strip on the outside. If you want to turn on ceiling lights, you don't have to go to the front of the coach to do that. You just simply do that with this little control panel. So this is the 2023 Integra Coach Expanse. As I said, it's brand new on the market. We're very excited about it because, as I said, I believe our development team has done an incredible job. I think they've thought of most things that you're going to need and even some things that you haven't thought about needing. And so get to your local dealership, your Integra Coach dealership, if you don't know where that is. Go to our website, Integra Coach, and that'll direct you to your closest dealership. If you have questions about it, there again, call your local dealership or feel free to call the factory if they are technical questions um, and a local regional sales manager who you'll identify, I'm from Wyoming or I'm from Michigan or I'm from Texas, you'll get connected to the individual who deals with those states and would love to answer any question for you. Again, my name is Corey Weatherton, Director of Product Development here for Integra Coach, and thanks for taking the time today to watch this video.